This is the second of two videos looking at electric ROVs. In this, we're going to look at larger ROVs in greater depth. Now, we learnt previously that in order to compete with hydraulic ROVs, electric vehicles needed to carry more power. So to increase the thrust, the designers could simply bolt another thruster onto the frame to increase the imaging, add more lights, sonar, cameras, and that meant a larger vehicle to carry it all. Carrying out intervention work, however, meant requiring manipulators, and that meant incorporating hydraulic circuits into the vehicle. More recently, a new generation of electrical manipulators have been developed, but more of that in another vid. As we shall discover in future videos, these hydraulic circuits consist of electric motor connected to one or more pumps. Now these pump incompressible hydraulic fluid through steel tubing and around the vehicle in a closed circuit. Tooling such as hydraulic manipulators plug into the stream and off take this power. At a recent exhibition, there was a Saab CI Leopard on show. This is one of the larger ROVs with the hydraulic circuit. We'll have a quick look around that, but I'm going to get my head out of the way so you can see what's going on. Like that. So, this is the front with its forward pointing lights, cameras, scanning sonar, and behind that there's a sort of tunnel. Now this can be a space for an additional payload or simply to let water through without providing resistance. In the four corners there are DC thrusters, or in this case pairs of DC thrusters. Each side you can see upward pointing vertical thrusters and there's another one at the back. These are very efficient and compact. The red cylinder you can see is a Sonodyne Sprint navigation system. So facing front, looking at its left side, are two pairs of thrusters and between the two is the hydraulic power unit or HPU. We know of course that as an electric ROV the hydraulic system doesn't have to power the motors so you don't need anything like as much power as you would in a hydraulic ROV. More of that in another video, but these thrusters only need 500 volts, so there's less power coming down the umbilical and the motor can be a lot smaller and carry less oil. In fact, the motor driving the hydraulic pump can be so small that the designers can use the sort of highly efficient brushless DB motors that are used to provide propulsion for ROVs. This hydraulic pump supplies oil at 15 litres a minute at 210 bar to the manipulators. That's the only consumer in this ROV. But if it were carrying hydraulic torque tool or flow excavator, this may take hydraulic power as well. It's important that oil in the system is positively charged to prevent water ingress in case of a leak. And this is done by a compensator. It's like a spring pushing down the diaphragm. This ROV has two compensators, one for the hydraulic pressure unit, HPU, and one for the rest of the system. The bottle above the HPU is the E-Pod. The control and signal lines from the umbilical enters this protective pressure bottle. In some systems, this houses a computer which contains analog interface cards that can drive the lights, thrusters, more advanced ROVs like this one, however, use a distributed control system with intelligence in each of the modules. So each light has its own microprocessor recording the status of the light, its temperature, brightness, current, and all this is reported to the surface. The signal is sent out through a serial network to all of the devices. If you look at the other side, we can see the other end of the EPOD, and below that is the second compensator we talked about, and below that is a seven function valve pack that operates the manipulators, camera booms and the like. And that's about it. We'll look at hydraulic ROVs in later videos so we can compare the two, but if you want to know more about subsea engineering, read UT2 and UT3, the magazine, an online magazine of the Society for Underwater Technology. And if you look at this on YouTube, please ring the little bell up there and it'll tell you when we're doing the, new, uh, the next video.